No, I think <clears throat> I think it's one of those things where the closer you get to sort of full, full burnout, like when you're really stressed and, and time off work and that's the thing, the closer it is to there, the harder it is to sort of avoid it. So um, like most of these things to do with mental health um, and stress, um, anxiety, pressure, dealing with pressure, all those kinds of things, it's better to have good systems set up in the first place um, to avoid it rather than um, trying to cope with it as, it as it develops. But if you're feeling as though um, you're beginning to feel burned out, which a lot of people will be because they've been working at home, it's been a little bit like Groundhog Day, um, where every day is the same. You get up, you go to your spare room, you open your laptop, you get on Zoom, you do your work, you, you know, you close your laptop, you're still at home. Yeah, you know, the grind of that is really, I think a lot of people are really beginning to feel it. And so the top tip um, that I would give people right now is to do things that are sort of positive activities that require low energy. So make sure you're doing the kind of fundamental things like going for a, taking some exercise, even, okay, the weather's great at the moment. So just getting out, having a walk, spending time with friends. If you can you know, go to a pub and have a pint outside or a drink or something with someone outside. It's one of the best ways to avoid burnout um, is to do things that you really enjoy that are kind of low intensity exercises um, or low, yeah, low intensity um, activities that won't necessarily add to your stress, but give you a mental break um, and give the, the body and mind a bit of a refresh. So that would be my top tip. If you're beginning to feel a little bit stressed, um, that would be my top number one thing to do now is make sure you're doing those things.